What's up everybody, Rex Extreme Werewolf, and I'm here to talk to you about the Marvel Cinematic Universe. We all know that technically in the movie Ragnarok, we got to see the giant wolf Fenrir from Norse mythology, as well as Hela too. But instead of being the pet to Hela, she, Fenrir is actually the brother to Hela. Because both Hela, unlike, okay, technically Hela is supposed to be the sister to Thor and Loki in Thor Ragnarok, but, 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 ah, Loki, well, let's, con let's, uh, think about it. another multimedia thing about God of War with Kratos being the son of Loki. Here's the thing though, there's a creature in that game that bro that is technically the offspring to L Loki who we all know is Atreus. But h the thing is Well, let's just call him Atreus. Atreus, after witnessing the death of his father, gets, guess this, this should have happened in Marvel Cinematic Universe. If Fenrir is supposed to be the son of Loki, there's only one creature, one creature. Sir Termite was supposed to cause Ragnarok, but there was another creature with the legend too. One being as long and giant enough to big enough and long enough to coil around the entire earth. That's right, I'm talking about the world serpent, Jormungandr. Jormungandr was technically supposed to be, was actually the firstborn child of Loki when Kratos was murdered because technically it's a disgrace to grow old and die so just but honor with death and all but no no Jormungandr was supposed to be the job was so supposed to you know actually if they bring in Fenrir and S Surtur with his other brother Actually, no, I have no idea. Maybe it's another demon that's... Maybe Sir goes by the name of Hell, because, like, he's a living giant of Hell. But, Jormungandr is the the only giant of Midgard, or Earth, that coils around the entire planet. From seas and land masses, he's probably blend, he blends in as a mountain, probably. Lives in the... either underwater and the, in the mist. But, that title still belongs to him. We must know that there are titans and gods. There's not just one... Okay, yes, there is one god, the major god, the one who creates planets for all of us to live in, to kill off the dinosaurs and stuff. But, there are other gods, such as Jormungandr, Thor, god of thunder, Loki, god of mischief, the serp, the god of serpents, I'm guessing, the god, the wor god of snakes or something like, I don't know what Jormander, Jormungandr is actually called, just called the world serpent. The giant wolf, and then there's Hela, the goddess of death, and Surtur, the demon that would rain down Ragnarok. So yeah, Jormungandr, I don't know it, but... I don't know if they are. I don't even know if Marvel or Disney or even Pixar or whatever. If they're bringing in another Norse mythology into the Marvel Universe. If so, they have brought in so many of them. Except for Jormungandr. But, if maybe they're planning to one day bring that and maybe Loki... You know, actually, maybe he will, they will, but a different one, considering that the Loki from the past, like in the first Avengers movie, which was also in Avengers, and mentioned in Avengers Endgame, 
Loki must have gone somewhere and became a father. Man, that would actually be cool to see your Mangander in there. Let's just hope that Hulk doesn't fight him. Or if it is going to be representing Hulk. But if so, hmm. Well, actually, that's all for now, and uh, I'll see you all in the next time. Bye!